All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank y'all for tuning in today. If you would, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. I know I got some stuff on my channel that you would really like. What I'm doing today is a little bit of an adventure. I'm going fishing out of the smallest boat that I own. And what it is, is a 1976 six-foot bass tracker boat that my dad bought a long time ago back in 1976 i got the title for it that's that's how old it is it's been a couple years since i fished out of it it's back here in the back of my mom's garage and there it is right there that is a it's basically it's plastic i don't know if y'all can tell that's plastic and then here's the seat um on a metal frame i gotta go and clean it up i know it's a little dark under here up under this uh up under shelter but i gotta take it home and clean it up and basically, you just uh, you can put the battery in a battery box up underneath that seat, and you put the trolling motor on the front, and got these little rod holders right here. Um, I put little straps over the rods, so you can take like four rods with you. So it's a pretty cool little deal, but it's perfect for the river where I'm going fishing because it's super shallow, and I'm lucky I have access. We have land that goes back to the river, and I'm able to carry it down the steps and throw it in the river and catch some of these really shallow water bass. So. Don't have a super long time to fish today. I got to get this thing home, get it cleaned up, throw this thing in the water, and let's catch us some big ones. So let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up in the back of the truck. Perfect. All right, so just got back here to the river. Looking good. Nice and low, just like I like it. See if we see any bass swimming around down there. Oop, there's a big old red throat just cut out right there. We are gonna catch them today. Let me tell y'all. Got the uh, got the boat cleaned up. As y'all can see, got the uh, the Minn Kota, uh, 30 pound thrust, which freaking this thing flies with that. Battery, light jacket, my tackling stuff. Bare minimum, you know, bare minimum stuff. You know, this thing won't carry a whole lot of weight. But you don't need much to catch big fish. So Texas rig, frog, and floating worm, that's what we're going with. Let's get this thing down in the water and let's catch us some big old bass. Troll hunter, I think that's everything. Except for my phone and what else? My Red Bull, need my Red Bull. All right, got the essentials, got the Red Bull, got the old phone. I'm gonna come on down. We gonna catch us a big one. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize ahead of time. The farmer is running the irrigation pump down the river. So it might be a little loud at times. We'll see, hopefully not too bad. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but we are absolutely gonna slay the bass and hopefully catch us a fiver we're gonna go for a five pounder that fish i uh yesterday i stuck that uh my buddy's son reeled in was close to five so we're gonna see if we can get us a five today how y'all like this little boat pretty freaking cool haven't used this trolling motor in a couple years so hopefully she fires Look at there. Getting it. All right. What are we going to start off with? Shout out. Maybe I'm going to tie on this. I'm going to tie on this small pad crasher. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So we're going to start off with the little mini pad crasher. And I'll tell you what, we're going to snip. I'm going to snip those legs a teeny bit. Like I said yesterday, they were so dialed on, on that rage bug, it almost makes me think that I need to be throwing that in these uh, areas where the water's a little bit, moving a little bit slower. Tell you what, that's what I'm gonna do. Just to make sure they're just not absolutely crushing that thing like they were yesterday, because every fish was just, I mean, they just had it. It was just in their gullet when they were eating it. 
and we're right here in the heat of the day it's 11:56. so i was kind of going to get up and come this morning but didn't go to sleep until late last night so slept in a little bit oh doc on it that was a fish i think oh he still got it look at him swimming with it a little bass come here oh man i tell you what when they are they are just eating this rage bug it's definitely uh representing something that they are eating regularly in here i mean i know they're eating crawls but just wow i mean that when they are they are eating it they're they're just not playing yep i think he's gonna be fine pretty little guy first bass of the day get on back in there i'm gonna throw i'm gonna put on a brand new brand new aqua frog all right let's get us a big one there he is little guy ain't got nothing but little ones biting today right now come on pop it though get that rod out of the way pretty little fish but definitely not what we're going after there's a two by eight up there in the woods there we go there we go there's a fish Well, another little guy but he come up and ate it oh, nice one Ooh, that was an explosive bite right there god he crushed it Heck yeah. Come here. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one right there. He bit it like he's supposed to. Right there in the top. Top of the lip. Check that one out. That's a pretty fish there. Man, he come up and just destroyed it. Thank you, buddy. Now we're down where the fish are set up. He came up and just smashed that thing. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that i got it right up to that log and that fish just came out and just ate it and see that's the whole thing about the frog is you can just put it where you can't throw anything else and that's the key to catching a lot of fish a lot of the fish here in the river is just the fact that you can throw it in places you can't throw other things you know so them big fish they're sitting they're sitting in these, you know, in the freaking jungle back there, and you can't get anything else back there to them without getting hung. But you're able to throw this frog in there and just work it through it like it like it's nothing, you know. And it makes all the difference in the world. There's a nice one. Definitely the biggest of the day. He come up right out of that log jam. Nice fish. He 
He was sitting right here in this log jam. That's a solid one. Solid fish. Come up on that aqua frog. Got right in the top. Top of the mouth. Chunk. Nice fish. Pretty. Thank you, bud. And going back in there to your to your home. Thank you for biting. I caught a real big one there last year in one of my kayak vids. Uh, over five pounds right there. A little bit, a little bit, maybe a couple yards, uh, ten yards further back up from where I caught that one. But that log jam usually tends to hold a pretty good one in the summertime. Got all that current running up under. There's just a bunch of stuff for them bass to get in, you know, and up under that uh, big log, just a great big log jam. They like to sit there. So kind of a predictable area when the water gets like this, but hey, that's how I like them. God, he's underneath of it. Man, I can't believe There he is. Is he still on there? Or did he come off? No, he's on there. He's on there. He's not that big, but man, he came up and crushed that thing. Oh, he just jumped off. That's okay. He came up and smoked it. That was about a two pounder. That was a sweet bite. These fish are staging up now. The big one is gonna be right here. Watch this. He's either gonna be right here, or he's gonna be on this cast right here. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. He come up and thrashed it. go little guy all right let's see oh they are the bass are turning on they are absolutely turning on yep we're gonna get us a big one we are gonna get us a big and y'all be ready there he is right there there he is right there giant there he is right there Oof. that is a big one that is a big one right there i mean came up and absolutely inhaled that frog come here come here buddy that is a big fish right there come here hammer hammer Woohoo! Look at that one. Absolutely engulfed that frog. Inhaled it. Inhaled it. Booyah pad crasher. Check that donkey out right there. I mean, absolute donkey. I was just, did I not just say I was gonna get right and get a big one? Let me turn, let me turn this boat around. I just said that I was gonna get a big one. That is sweet. All right, let's let this guy go. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. I'm gonna definitely say pushing five. I don't have my scale with me, but that old girl is pushing five for sure. There she goes, swimming off. Beautiful fish. Boom, got that big one. Look at her, she's still swimming in the shallows right there, just swimming away. Freaking awesome. Awesome, didn't even get the words out of my mouth, one of that fivery man. We got her out of the tiny boat, out of the little teeny boat, it's super awesome. Good deal. All right, that was sweet. That was sweet. Out of the tiny boat. 
the little teeny tiny boat bass tracker told y'all it's a bass tracker it is it's a bass tracker and caught that great big bass out of it maybe we can get one bigger than him let's try for one bigger than him now but that was freaking awesome so we're gonna go back up here and i'm gonna throw on the back side of where i caught that uh caught that nice fish right then and then i'm gonna fish down this shoreline and maybe down the next one and then i'm probably probably gonna call it uh call it quits i got some stuff i got to do this afternoon um it is 205 and i haven't really fished all that long i'm gonna be honest with y'all it's been uh not a just they're not biting as good as i've as i've seen them bite they're not even biting as good as i think they were yesterday but they're biting good enough they are biting good enough and i believe we can get us another another big one so right now we got one probably five that fish was right at five at least four and three quarter but I, i'm gonna say that fish is five pounds i'm a pretty good judge of of uh of bass usually i can judge them really good if i have time to look at them but anyway the other ones were over three you know probably three between three and three and a quarter and then that fish pushing five there's a he's not a big one but he is a fish thank you bud thank you bud make sure we don't get up here and snake territory right here get big old cotton mouth sitting here i lost a great big small mouth one day right here right there where i floated into great big one that's a good one that's a good one yep that is a good one right there Nice fish, solid. I'm just built like a tank right there in the roof of the man. He come up real quiet. I just saw him just come up under it and just ate it. Solid fish, at least two and a half, maybe even better than that. Nice fish, beautiful. Get him back in there. Good one. Yep, I figured it'd be a good one there. Get over that log. He come up and ate it too. I mean, inhaled that frog. Good one. Ate it. Give myself a little bit of line. Mm, there we go. Another pretty one. Another pretty one. Thank you, buddy. Oh, another nice one. Sitting right up there in that shade spot. Right up there in that shade. I mean, absolutely choked that frog. Another two plus. Another good one. Nice fish. We're gonna get us a big one back here and then after we fish this, we're gonna call it. Gotta go through this real shallow spot right here in front of me. This thing will scoop with this. It's only a 30 pound thrust trolling motor, but this thing will get it. in business i know it's one back here probably one right there we're gonna catch a great big one on this uh this shoreline i hate to yell i'm trying to talk over that 
irrigation pump right there, but we're gonna get us a big one right here. I got that feeling. This outside bin, nice and deep. We should get us one. Oh, oh big one. Giant fish. Oh God, he is all down in there. Come here. Oh my, oh my God, this is a big one. Y'all, this is an absolute giant. Absolute giant fish right here. Oh, this is a seven pounder. Oh, don't come off. God, don't come off. Let me get away from this wood. This is a monster. Come here, come here, big girl. Come here, big girl. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh my. Absolute freaking stud right there. Y'all check that one out. Check that one out. I think I got my camera where y'all can see it, I think. Let's see, yeah. I mean, choked it. Look, I did, I don't know if y'all can see that. Look, I barely had that fish skin hook. Wow, even as good, that just goes to show you, even as good as these fish eat it, I mean, I'm gonna take this thing and even though it was just skin hooked, it was still, still in there pretty doggone good. Get out of there. There we go. Popped it loose. Oh, check that one out. That is a freaking tub. Tiny boat right there. Tiny boat freaking monster. Absolute monster. All right, so hopefully y'all can see this fish. I got the GoPro kind of sitting right on the front of my boat. I know it's moving around a little bit. I don't want it to fall out. But this is an absolute tank of a fish. Absolute big girl. Come up and ate that freaking pad crasher. That is a big, heavy fish. Let's go ahead and let that girl go. Absolute tank. Let's let her go. Go on, big girl. That is a tank. There she goes. Oh man, that was the one we've been looking for. Caught one five earlier. I don't think that fish was quite seven. It was probably six and a half. Absolute monster fish come right off that root ball. And I don't know if y'all can see the fish. I mean, the fish was nowhere away from me when it bit. What an awesome day of fishing. I, out of the tiny boat, out of the little teeny boat. Cool deal. Wow. All right, this is gonna be about the last spot. I mean, that fish come completely out of the water when my frog hit. Got him, got him, there he is. There he is, last fish, last one. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. That is the end of a good day. That is the end of a good day. It's crazy hot. And we got it done. We got it done. We caught a ton of fish. That is awesome. I got to head back. It is 3 o'clock. I, I got a little ways to go to get back. I'm going to strap these rods in. And we have had a good time. We have had a good time. I hope y'all... Hope y'all enjoy seeing these fish catches because I sure enjoyed catching them, I can tell you that. All right, well, I'm gonna tell you what an absolutely awesome day on the water, on the river that I love, that I grew up fishing, and fishing out of, uh, you know, one of my dad's old boats. Like I said, this is a 1976 six-foot bass tracker really cool little boat i don't use it nowhere near as much as i should but i used to use it right much but you know just really cool it, it takes me back you know years uh years past of, of fishing out of this thing when i was 16 17 years ago uh years old 
hauling it around in the in the back of my old Nissan and my Toyota, you know, just brings back a lot of good memories. So it had made more memories in it today. Absolute giant fish had a ball on top water on the frog. Just just you can't beat it. That's all it is to it. You cannot beat it. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all want to see, you know, as far as content wise, if you want to see something different, if you like what I'm putting out, just let me know. So anyway, hit that subscribe button. I will see y'all next time on Gunfish TV.